in my last big bin. I only was able to find four of these that Tuesday morning for $7.99. These are about, it's about a hand deep. Um, it's pretty good size, fits everything that I need. It's clear so I can see through of what's inside. And they are a little bit more expensive at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, or stores of the sort. I'm sure you can find them cheaper on Amazon. All right, so I found four on Tuesday morning. There's four pre there's three previous previous videos of what I brought home from school and what I have gathered of personal items, so that I can show you guys um, what I have. Well, not just so I can show you because I'm going to use it, but um, to be prepared for a virtual teaching. Should it have to be that I'm teaching from home? If it is that not, if it is that we return to school or later, I'm just gonna take my bin, put it in the nail closet, the facial closet, the whatever closet, and we're done. It's already pre-packaged, we're good to go. All right, so this particular bin is my nail art bin, okay? So I have not all because I have, I, so when I was cleaning out my, my room, my studio to turn into the baby room, I had to take all my stuff out and I realized that I have so much nail stuff. It is ridiculous, okay? So I definitely want to just say that this is some. I have not had time to sit and go through all of my other, I have like boxes, bins, and, and luggage, and kits and stuff, but this is just what I started with, okay? So let's start with this here. Um, this is just a little index card um, holder, little binder, and it has a variety, all of these have a variety of nail art images that I have gotten from the internet, Pinterest, things of the sort. So when I'm teaching or I need to have a student do a copycat, which is the, like I like to call it, they take this client shows them this on a picture on the phone and then they say it's funny that I turned turn to this one today's the 4th of July but this is the 4th of July image if a client comes to them and says I want this the student should be able to dissect it and recreate it as close to the picture as possible obviously you know it's hard to get exact colors or exact you know the shape of the nail or the length of the nail but to get as close as possible for the client's satisfaction so um, I'll pull these out and say, okay, it's a nail day, a nail art day, I need you to copy this. Um, they're not laminated, but the picture is laminated. So I just taped them on here and hole punched them. And uh, they're awesome. I, I love this, I use it so much. All right, so that's my teaching tool. I guess I'll start from the top. These are my mom used to own uh, Glitter and Bliss nail art boutique and she would sell nail art supplies so these are some of her things that were left over and so uh, she gave them to me and I use them in class now so these are the big sheets these sheets used to be five dollars and these um, all have different kinds of stickers so I use these in class now I let my students use them um, we would cut them we used to sell to students so we wanted to make it affordable but we used to cut them and into five and it was a dollar a piece which you know uh, for the amount that you charge for nail art it was a pretty darn good price so that's those kinds of color uh, stickers and then we had nail fabric it was like a sticker fabric so these are the different um, designs that we had um, these were three dollars per sheet so you can do overlays with that okay in here I have a variety of permanent markers to teach the students to practice how to do marbling with gel, okay? But um, we would use the permanent markers and alcohol to create a design on um, over white nail polish or over a nail polish, depends on the color. Some colors don't work very well together, but I use permanent markers to introduce the technique so we don't waste product and it's a lot more forgiving and it doesn't dry out like nail polish does or like the gel polish as far as getting tacky and messy and all of that um not dry out gel polish doesn't dry out but um 
this is just a great way to introduce it. So I just bought these off of Amazon and plenty for a class set, okay? I only use these for nail art. I do not use these markers for anything else. All right, here I have, I brought home some acrylics um, that I was going to put in the sample uh, nail sticks because of the snamel, um, I have not messed with the acrylics and maybe after the baby's born, I'll put that on my to-do list. I have this, this was my mom's and she gave it to me, but this was the glitter, the chrome glitter. So it's the whole set. Um, this is my personal collection. So um, it's kind of like the holographic kind of stuff. So that's in here. I do have transfer foil the glue and the gel. Um, we do have some transfer foils here, and then I have my transfer foils, some are personal, um, and they are of a variety of different, these are the galaxies, these are different holographic ones, then these are my um, Halloween ones, and these are my Christmas ones that I bought from our local nail supply, Central Nail Beauty Supply. And then we have our nail tattoos, um, I didn't bring all of them. These we got off of Amazon for, from, for school. So these were purchased by the school, but these are a bunch of little nail tattoos. Soak them in water and then lay them over the nail. Students love working with these. These are fun. And I have these in Ziploc baggies so that in case it spills out, it doesn't go all over the place. Then I have my glitters, not all of them, but just some and a little spatula to pour my glitter out. I have that in a bag so the glitter doesn't get everywhere. Then we have our nail tapes. These nail tapes, I love collecting them, obviously. I have a huge collection of the nail tapes in different sizes and colors. Um, the masking tape as well for nail art. And then I have a bunch of these that actually come with a disc. So you can um, put these together and then just pull the tape out for dispensing is a lot easier than um, keeping them in the little zip, in their little baggie. I think that took me a while to put in there to start with. All right, so next thing that we have is our nail art stamping kit. I have all of my nail art stamping plates, the small ones, the plastic ones, and then the bigger ones. I have a variety of a collection. Um, and then um, I have my stampers, okay, my silicone stampers and my scrapers, so they're all in here. So when I, and then my sticky tack to tack my nail tip onto the nail finger or the hand that I'm using if I choose to work with it that way. So again, this is not all of the nail art supplies that I have. It's just the supplies that I brought from school so that I can teach um, my 10th grade students nail art, okay? Um, this is enough to get me through a lot of different techniques that I teach them. Um, brushes and all of those kinds of things are in another, it's literally a luggage, it probably comes up to my knees, um, and it has all of my nail stuff in it, and again, I have so much nail stuff, I still have not finished going through all of that, but this is a good starter point basics of everything that I need for nail art is here. All right, so that's all I have for my nail art supply kit. Once I go through all my nail stuff, I will definitely show you um, that uh, luggage or box or boxes or bins, whatever I end up coming up with just because I have so much nail stuff. Um, and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to tune in for the next video. So please click on that uh, bell so that you can get those notifications. Um, have a good day and we'll see you guys on the next one.